Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about the interview I did with Mr. Olympia, Frank Zane, and how it went viral. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, been in the, was in the industry for a long time, still am in the industry. Here I am right on YouTube Fitness, right? Uh, in the industry for a long time. And during my time with Muscle and Strength and Tiger Fitness, I got to work with, talk with, interview a lot of interesting characters. And back in, I believe, 2014, and correct me if I'm wrong, I got to interview Mr. Olympia Frank Zane. We talked on the old telly, right? We talked on the telephone and uh, recorded it and turned it into an interview. This interview occurred before the 50th Olympian. I'm going to get into that in a moment because that's really the interesting part of the story. So having been in the industry, there's a lot of stories I could tell, a lot I could tell. And look, I'm, I'm just going to share a story. It is what it is. I have nothing against Frank Zane, but I thought it would be a fun story to tell because it's probably one of my top five moments ever. Uh, in the industry. So, wind back to maybe August of 2014, somewhere around there. I believe the 50th Olympia is coming up, and Frank Zane hadn't been invited yet, okay, understand that, hadn't been invited yet to go up on stage at the 50th Olympia. I believe that year they invited all the old Olympia champions up on stage, but to set the table, for this story, just know that Frank had not been invited yet. So, Frank and I were discussing lifting. Um, this interview is over at Muscle and Strength. Talked about some interesting things like progressive overload and strength. And there was uh, one aspect that Frank talked about that I remember well, and that they didn't, you know, they didn't call it power lifting back then. They call it odd lifting. They did the odd lifts like deadlifts and squats and whatever. And he mentioned that he had been very, very strong, in the, or reasonably strong in those lifts. So one of the slants of the interview I was trying to get to uh, with Frank was um, a, to the heart of just how strong were you, right? Because Frank was always like uh, viewed as like a mind-muscle connection guy, not a focus on strength, but basically we rewound the calendar a little bit back to when he was doing the odd lifts and he actually built a lot of strength when he was younger so the interview progressed and that's not the that's not the actual story the interview progressed to the topic of modern bodybuilding and i would i think we were discussing you know how i grew up in that era appreciated a lot of the physiques in that era and here's here's the here's the interesting part frank went on and you can check the Wayback Machine on, uh, on wayback.org. The original interview is still there somewhere. The, the current one is edited. So in case somebody thinks I'm full of crap. Frank went on to say that his thoughts on the modern, on the state of modern bodybuilding, he said something to the effect of it's so crazy or whatever word he used, out of control, that he's expecting somebody to explode on stage at any given time. Th those, that's a paraphrase, but that's the heart of what he said. I asked his opinion on modern bodybuilding, and he said it was so out of control, so what it was that he was expecting somebody to explode on stage at any given time. Now, that's a quote. I'm not, I'm not reading into it. It was what it was. But we printed it in the interview, right? And it went viral. This is back in, you know, the day when uh, everything, people were sharing everything on Reddit and, you know, all over the place. When, you know, viral was still viral and not just controlled by Facebook or monitored by Facebook like it was. It went viral. And forums were still around then, right? So people were sharing it on forums. People were sharing it everywhere. It went ridiculously viral. And at the time it was going ridiculously viral, Frank got a call from the Mr. Olympia asking him to be on stage for the 50th 
Olympia. So here Frank was going to be on the stage that he said some <laughs> that a competitor was likely to explode on, and everybody in the lifting industry is talking about this quote at the time. And Frank came back to me, and he was very upset at me, you know, for printing it. Like, it was an interview, Frank. <laughs> it's what you said. I didn't, you know, I, I printed it. You know, I did, there was no nothing malicious, no harm meant. But he asked, he was mad that it went viral. And he wanted me, I don't think Frank understood the way, the nature of the internet and the nature that you can't unwind something that goes viral, right? I, I can't pull it off of Reddit. I can't pull it off of 72,000 lifting forums. I can't do that, Frank. He wanted me to unwind the virality, if you will, to take it back. And I said, Frank, <laughs> I can't do that. So then he told me to take it, edit it out of the interview. And um, he was pretty mad at me. He was upset at me. And you could tell with his words. And hey, I, you know, I'm just doing my job. I'm just, I, I didn't think it was, you know, it was just kind of one of those moments where the stars align. Frank said something and then he got interviewed. Uh, then he got invited to the Olympia and what he said went viral at the same time he was going to be on the on Olympia. And I think he was kind of embarrassed. I'm just assuming that's my opinion. But I think he was kind of embarrassed that he said that, and everybody in the lifting world was talking about it at the same time he was going to be on that stage where he said he was waiting for someone to explode at any given moment. So I've never, uh, I've never really interacted with Frank since then. I stopped by his booth once at the Olympia, but he doesn't know me from jack shit, right? I mean, I was just a schmuck he interviewed on the phone, but... That's my story with Frank. No hard feelings. Um, the interview still stands at Muscle and Strength edited. I'm sure if you check the Wayback uh, way machine, you might be able to find the original one that went viral. I don't know. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.